biggest tips I give you ladies, okay? Forget Botox. Try forgiveness. Okay? It'll drop 10 years off your life. Guaranteed. Okay? Non-invasive. It's free. Okay? You know, the greatest yeah. thing about the whole seminar was that they talked about dreams, but the biggest and, the, and they also gave us tips that were uh, practical tips and good reminders for daily things. But the main and the most important thing was that it all came back to our Creator. It came back to God and it came back to um, that He has put these gifts in us. He's a, he has put these dreams in us. And it just was a great reminder to be perseverant and to be who you are in the Lord and just to keep pushing forward. But to trust and know that He's going to bring you to the right place. And that is what this seminar has reminded me. Today. I think Ultimately, I, I want to end up working with the Lord. Um, you know, as much as I like sports and there's career aspirations, um, I found that you know, I think I'm I'm in NFL Network to to pursue a career and 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 to to do highlights and stuff like that. But it's interesting. The more mature I I have grown as a Christian, I've realized that. I could be an NFL network because I helped lead a makeup artist to the Lord. You know, and you know, God, I'm I'm looking at, you know, career stuff, and God might be thinking, yeah, but I need you to get to that audio guy, and there's this other guy who, you know, who's the TD, and, and you gotta talk to him too, and then I'm done with that. And then we gotta move you on to somewhere else because, you know. I need you to impact the industry, not for you know glory or money, but I need you to bring these people to Christ. Well, today was so great. Number one, I love Ryan and his message and Evan Money and wherever they're doing anything, I want to show up because they're just extraordinary people. And the surprise for me today was um, the depth of um, consciousness and the love of God that was shared today in the room. That was a surprise. I was not expecting that, and it was refreshing. And it was like, wow, seeing God in action in the room today, it was brilliant. So it was really, really nice. Don't be afraid of where you're at currently, because I think we all think in terms of ultimate and what I'm doing now is the only thing I'll do the rest of my life. And you can see like, from stories, like even Simon talking about Jay, he's, he's the accountant at the, you know, at the uh, corrupt corporate, you know, it's like, why was he there? Why, you know what I mean? But everything can be a learning lesson and a growing lesson. So don't get discouraged where you are and um, just, just, you know, learn what you're supposed to learn there and God may have more for you ahead. So don't worry about it, that this has to be the ultimate. Is this always the ultimate for me? Don't get stuck there, but just know that it might be a step on the journey, not the ultimate. And would you recommend it to a friend? Definitely. I wish I would have had more friends with me. That would have made a big difference. That would have made a huge difference. Some people really needed to hear this. I'm glad I was here. With your personality and your temperament and your gifts and your vision and your dreams and your physicality to do exactly what only you can do. There's nobody on the planet that can do what you can do. You're no accident. He needed you. And in all of history, there's never been anyone quite like you. And there never will be again. Sorry, I just get very touched by that truth. <laughs> there never will be again. And when you get that, you really get it, you can begin to like and embrace and tolerate, not just tolerate, but enhance and, and play up and relish all of your attributes, all of your physicality, your gifts, even your weird quirks. Um, it was totally, for me, that just a divine appointment. It was amazing. Um, there's so many practical things that were said. I mean, a lot of times you go to these kind of things and it's just blah, 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 be inspired. But this was inspiration and practical application. And, um, and I also was very encouraged that it was so much about, you know, allowing God to do through you what he's made you to do. And rather than just, I have a dream. <laughs> I'm gonna make it kind of personal, if that's okay. I won't spend a whole lot of time talking about the industry and business and so on, because that's a whole separate <laughs> set of lectures, if you will. But I can tell you that it's really unlikely that the theme here is to you know have a dream and know what your dream is. If you had told me when I was growing up in South Africa, in Durban, South Africa, that I would do I would be doing what I do for a living, uh, you know, 30 years ago, I would love to be 
It's the most unusual, bizarre thing that I could have possibly imagined. I'm grateful for it. Um, I, I see I see how it goes. And it's all about being in the right place, where God wants it. And it's funny, you know, you talk about, Brennan Manning talks about, you only, you only ex exchange with God in, in one dimension, and that's now. It's not yesterday, it's not tomorrow, it's now. And if you think about the sum total, here's, here's something that blows your mind. really make okay. a difference in anyone's life. I would recommend this seminar to anyone who can get it for $10,000. I think that's what it was worth to me. Evan was inspirational. He was encouraging. He had the play cup. That was, right that was amazing. I loved his humility and his honesty. Um, he made you believe that you could actually succeed and make it. And his story is a testimony to so, that. So, you know, I think that's, you know, deep down inside, I, I hope to one day be working for Simon. And, you know, doing something with, with him. Uh, I don't know. Just throw, throw, throw that out. <laughs> well, uh, the Holy Spirit's moving. Right? We'll continue next week as we can't work with the speakers here. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's, yeah, let's go with Nancy here, who's kind of in the middle of these two power deals going on here. We have a new retreat. I bookend. Yes, there we go.